Hello and welcome back. This is Ashul Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a beautiful coming soon page just like this one using a free WordPress plugin. And in this coming soon page, we have got this countdown timer. We have got social media icon links and to collect emails, we have got this form added as well. And I'm going to show you how to set up everything completely free throughout this video. So without further ado, let me take you to my WordPress dashboard to show you the step-by-step -step process. All right, so here I am on my WordPress backend and now I have to take you to plugins. And after that, let me click on add new button so that I'll be able to add the required plugin. So after coming here, we have to make a search using CMP and it is going to load the plugin which we need here. As you can see coming soon and maintenance plugin by this theme named CMP which has got 100k plus active installations with 229 five star reviews. So this is one of the greatest plugins used for coming soon page design. So let me click on install now button right here. And now we have to click on this activate button right here. And you are going to see some change right here in this left side. And just take a look, we have got CMP settings added and you are going to see that on plugins page, we have got thank you for installing CMP. And here is the plugin. We can now go to the settings page by simply clicking on this CMP settings or from here, if we click on this CMP basic setup, it is going to take us to the same page. So let me click here and it is going to take us to the settings page. And just take a look, we have got CMP status currently disabled and we have to make it enabled. So now while it is disabled, I'm going to take you to an incognito mode. And after that, if I type out the domain name here, you are going to see we are going to be able to visit the page of the website, right? Everything is visible here. But if I take you back here on this page and after that, if I click on enabled, and let's select whole website and let's click on this save all chains. And now if I take you back here and let's reload this page here, you are going to see we are not going to be able to access the website anymore. It is going to show us this coming soon page template. Now if I take you back here and let me explain few things here. So CMP status is currently enabled and you can see coming soon mode is currently on. And after that, we have got three options here. One is for whole website so that whenever someone is going to visit or someone is trying to visit your website from let's say contact us page, services page or any other page, they're going to see this status activated. But if you click or select home page only, whenever they are going to visit your home page, they are going to see this status. Other than that, they will be able to access the other pages easily. And for this option, if you have selected any whitelist or blacklist, then you can select whatever page you want to select. And after that, we have got this CMP mode where we have three options. One is redirect mode. So if someone is going to visit your home page and if you want them to redirect to any other pages, you can simply select redirect mode and then choose the page URL and then give the delay time. Then we have got this maintenance mode and after that we have got this coming soon and landing page. So I'd love to go with this coming soon and landing page. And then I'm going to select save all chains. So whatever change you make here, make sure you are clicking on the save all changes button. Other than that, the change won't be saved. Now, if I take you a little bit down, you are going to see we have got few themes available here. As you can see available themes, currently this one is selected, but we want the theme which has countdown timer, which has the sign up form, which has the social media icons, which are clickable. So for to make this happen, we have to select this theme. And from here, we can simply click on this activate button right here. And now if I click on this, let me take you back, click on this save all chains again. And after that, if I take you back here on this page and if I reload this page, you are going to see some difference is going to be happened. And just take a look, we are already seeing some chains. Now we have to make the change on the logo, 
we have to make the change on timing heading and we have to add the social media icons with the clickable links and the sign up form so let's do this we are going back here on this editing panel and after that we have to go to this content option so let's click on content and after that from logo setup we have selected text logo and which is collecting information from this website but now i want to add a custom logo to do this simply i have to click on this graphic logo and after that i have to select the custom logo so let me click on select logo and from here you can upload a logo by clicking on this select files or if you have got the logo already on your website simply go to media library and then select the logo which you want to use in this case i'm going to use this logo and after that let me click on insert logo and after that if i click on save all change and now if i take you back here on the project and if i reload this page you are going to see we have got the logo added so this is how simple it is to change anything on the coming soon page so let me take you back again and after that we are going to make change on this heading so let me type out better version is coming soon just as an example and after that if i click on this save all change and if i take you back here currently we have got something is happening here but if i reload this page you are going to see better version is coming soon so this is pretty simple pretty easy right so now let me take you back and now we are going to change the background image and for this you have got few more options if you want you can use a video which you can use from youtube or you can upload a video file manually so let me show you by uploading a video from youtube or adding a video from youtube if i take you to youtube and let me type out here nature just an example and after that let's say i want to add video link copy video url and if i type it out here you are going to see that this video is going to be added up if i take you here and then click on this save all change and now if i take you back here let's reload this page and it is going to load the background video just take a look how it is looking like right so let's say you are creating a website for birds or bird industry you can add this beautiful um, video background so let me take you back into the editing panel and after that i am going to work on actually i'm going to add the custom image so let me click on custom image and after that i'm going to click on this media library and from here i am going to select this image which i have downloaded from pixels if you want free image you can use pixels which is completely free and here is the image that i have just downloaded you can download any image from here and use on your website completely free so let me take you back and after that i'm going to click on insert image and then if i take you and click on this save all change if i take you back instead of this video background we are going to see that our image is added but we want to add some opacity in the background so let me take you back and after that if you just notice after image we have got few options as you can see set background overlay so we are going to add some background overlay which is currently selected as black color but we are going to increase the opacity of the overlay so it will look nicer so let me take you like to six okay just take a look how it is going to be darker a little bit darker okay so i'd love to keep it to six or seven so let's try six so save all chains and if i take you back here let's reload this page yeah it's looking much better and the text are appearing um, quite right and clearly so let me take you back and i'm going to show you the other things uh, as we have got the social media icons and then this sign up form with this custom uh, footer menu so let's add the social media icons so let me take you here on the editing panel and after that if i take you a little bit down you are going to see uh, yeah here we have got this countdown timer so let's select the countdown timer currently it is enabled right so now let's say you want to add a specific time let's say you want to 
publish this website on 6th March 2021 at let's say 10 instead of 10 p.m. let's select a.m. and 10 a.m. okay now if I click on save all change right here okay and if I take you back here you are going to see instead of this 23 hours we are going to see something else it is going to be changed so based on your need you can add the timer as you can see 4 days 11 hours 38 minutes and 23 seconds remaining now let me take you back and i have got few things to explain here uh, one thing actually so as you can see here countdown action so when this time will be passed sorry not here when this time will be passed what should this timer do so if i take you back here we are going to select this from this option we can hide the counter let's say the date or the time frame is passed we can hide the counter we can disable coming soon or maintenance page so that people are going to be able to access our website as it was normally and or you can select url redirect let's say you want to target or uh, redirect your visitors to a new website you can simply do this as well so let me take select this one disable coming soon or maintenance page and after that i'm going to still click on this save all chains and it is going to be uh, all right now if i take you a little bit down again then we have got this subscribe form which is really important so as you can see we have got enable automatic subscribe pop-up if you need a pop-up form you can select this one but i would love to go with the basic one which is the static subscribe form so i'm going to select enable in page subscribe form and after that you can add few more gdpr things or any other message if you need but i'd love to keep this as it is it is completely fine and after that if i click on this save all chains and if i take you here let's reload this page you are going to see we have got this subscribe form added now let's say instead of this color here on this button we want a color like this as we have got this color shim so in this button so let me show you how you can change the color so let me take you back and after that let me take you here oh, okay so i'm actually going to show you the work on the next step on the customized things so let's keep this as it is we are going to add few more things right here so let me take you back and after that if i yeah here we go we have got social media things so let's say i want to add facebook instagram and linkedin as our social media things and i want to make the change let's say for facebook i want to provide my social media id here which is ajhar rafi for instagram i'm going to provide my id here for linkedin i'm going to provide my id here now you can select social icons location currently they are selected to footer small icons so for this reason we are seeing or oh, actually they're not appearing yet so let me take you back but now if i click on small or oh, sorry save all chains you are going to see if i take you back again reload this page you are going to see that we have got these icons too small and they're touching the footer bar so we want to make them a little bigger and we want them placed right here or here so let me take you back on our editing panel after that if i take you back or actually at the bottom of this page you are going to find social icons location we have to select from here below content big icons so let's select this one let me click on save all chains and now if i take you back right here if i reload this page you are going to see we have got big icons and they are working nice now if i click here on this facebook or let's say instagram they are going to take us to the click clicked link okay so we have connected our pages here so we have to uh, you have to connect yours now let's go back here on this editing panel and after that we are going to work on the footer uh, which we currently have like this made by this thing so we are going to make the change right here so let me take you back here and i'm going to delete everything from here then i'm going to type out copyright then this copy and let's say yeah 2021 just as an example let's click on save all chains and now if we if i take you here if i reload this page you are going to see everything changed copyright c rafi 2021 everything is looking great now let me show you something else here regarding this 
stuff and then i'm going to show you how it is going to collect email address of your visitors from this page or form so let me take you back on this editing panel we are going to customize and after that we have got this color here as active here so we want to make the change so let me click here and after that if i take you to this color and you can simply select by providing the color code if you have got the color code so i'd love to go with this way as of now and now if i click on save all change and if i take you back here let's reload this page just take a look we have got the exact color scheme added right here so everything looks good now one thing i was about to show you is how this form is going to collect emails so let me provide an email address here or let's say another email mm. I'm providing just the email which I don't use usually and now if I click on submit you are going to see thank you your sign up request was successful so your visitors are going to see this message now let me show you where can you can get this email address which is just been submitted so if I take you back and from here if you select this one cmp subscribers so if i click here you are going to see this person has just subscribed to your email address or sorry email list and you can see the ip address first name last name if you added okay so now if i take I take you back on cmp basic setup again and from where we were on content and from actually not content we are customized and from here we have changed the active color and after that we have got font color so as of now with this white color it is looking great so we are going to keep this as it is but if you want you can change the color from here and then we have got these options heading font if you want you can change the font family you can change the font weight font size then the letter spacing and other information based your need so i am going to keep them as they are because these are the basic stuffs i believe you already know how to make the change if you know how to uh, use microsoft word okay so let me click on save all chains and after that we have got seo and analytics from this page you can provide your website's title which is seo friendly and from here seo description provides some information about your business so that it is going to work on regard your on regard of the search engine optimization and ranking okay and after that i it is currently selected to discourage search engines from indexing this site okay so you can simply uncheck if you have provided everything properly here on with seo optimization so let me just click on this one and then if you want you can add google analytics on this um, landing page or coming soon page so that whenever someone will visit on your website you will get a signal like someone has visited on your website so if you click here you're going to be able to provide the google analytics tracking id right here and after that you have to simply click on this save all change button and it will be totally fine to move forward then we have got custom css if you know custom css works you can and if you want to stylize a little more and if you want to add more functionalities of this uh, coming soon page you can go with custom css works then we have got advanced stuff where we basically have to do nothing at all as you can see so in this case we are going to keep it as it is so no worries now if i click on save all chains and if i take you back on the project page if i reload this page and here we go we have got the exact landing uh, coming soon page which we intended to build okay with just a few uh, changes like we have made some change here and we have made some change here other than this we have got everything similar to the other page so this was it guys i believe you have found this video helpful and if you did please give this video a like share this video to help your friends let me know your opinion by commenting below subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos about wordpress website management and how to build wordpress websites professionally so thank you so much once again and i have to see you in my next video have a good day bye bye